This story is disturbing and kind of sad. On this morning's Health Watch, every teenager knows about zits. 85% of the teenage population battles acne in some form or another. Well, now all of a sudden we're hearing about something called a super acne, and it does not respond to antibiotics. Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here to talk more about that. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. How long has this been around? Well, it's probably been around for a while, but we're starting to see more and more of it now because just like with a lot of forms of resistant bacteria, it's becoming more refractory or difficult to treat. Difficult to treat and less resi and more resistant Absolutely. to antibiotics. Okay, just, so it, it's this, what, what spectrum of, of uh, bacteria yeah, does uh, acne fit in? So we call this a uh, discussion about bugs and drugs, right? So this right. is a bacteria known as P. acnes, uh -huh. and it's it's part of the skin flora. So it, what's difficult about it is that is nor the bacteria that we normally see mm -hmm. with acne right. are normally very susceptible to antibiotics. Known very as treatable. Clindamycin, right. tetracycline, yeah. erythromycin. Sure. This one is not. Wow. About 50% of bacteria mm -hmm. that cause acne can be resistant. How would you know you had this? Well, that's the important thing is that, you know, acne can be difficult to treat for a lot of cases, right. but once a dermatologist starts to put you on antibiotics, mm -hmm. within weeks to months, your you skin can really results. clear that, up. So yeah. when it doesn't, that's when you would start suspecting and it. And so then what alternative are you left with if you've got the superbug? Well, that's the key thing here. You want to, the way that antibiotics normally work is they reduce inflammation and they cut down obviously on the bacterial, the supergrowth that forms within this skin unit. Yeah. When you when that doesn't work, then you have to move to things like retinoids or Accutane is mm -hmm. the brand name. Yeah. Things, alternative treatments like tea tree oil and things like benzoyl peroxide that yeah. cut down on oil and unclog the pores. Yeah. It, is, is this as simple as too many antibiotics in this thing? I mean, as, as we've seen this syndrome before. Well, well, yeah, and we have to put it into historical context. In the past, we used antibiotics because it saved people's lives. Right. Now they're used because they're quick, they're cheap, they're effective. And what's really sad here, Harry, is that for people suffering with acne, oh, it's, so it's emotionally yeah. and physically scarred. And then only exacerbates it. It only, yep. yes. It's uh, a problem. Uh, Dr. Ashton, as always, thanks so much.